Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun. And I know a lot of you are probably on a budget and you can only afford one knife and it's kind of confusing which knife you should get or even what length of blade you should get. Uh, and this answer does depend a lot about on how you're gonna be doing a carving, what you're carving and where you're carving it. Uh, but to answer uh, the, the basic question, what length of blade should you get? Uh, a lot of people do suggest like a one and three fourths inch uh, blade here. That is kind of like the arbitrary number for, um, it's not too long and it's not too short. You can do a lot of detail work with it, especially if you choke up on the blade. And it's long enough that you can do a, remove a lot of uh, extra excess wood that you don't need. So it's a great all around um, length that you wanted to get. You can get a little bit longer, you can get a little bit shorter. Like this one, this OCC is a one and seven eighths inch blade and it's great, does everything that I need. Um, but you can also get shorter blades. I think this Beavercraft one is just a little bit shorter um, and it still serves, like does all the stuff I need to, to carve with. But if you guys are just looking for one knife, uh, the, the Flex Cut Roughing Knife is a great blade to uh, consider. It's got a good length, it's a one and three fourths inch blade on it, um, comfortable handle, and it's a decent price. Um, also the OCC uh, knives, uh, these are usually sold by length. You can go ahead and get the one and seven eighth inch the blade. I sometimes like to grab my one and a quarter inch blade instead. Um, that's just me personally. Uh, you're your actual mileage will vary of, of what you want to grab, but for a good arbitrary number, like I said, the one to three fourths inch length or just a little bit above or below will be fine. Um, for some of you guys, those might be out of the question for you or they might not be available to you. Uh, a lot of people, if you are on an extreme budget, Beavercraft will be the cheapest option that I recommend to anyone. I don't recommend getting the super cheap uh, uh, no name brand or weird Chinese knockoff name brands. The Beavercraft blades come honed with a consistently sharp blade that's easy to maintain and it's a very affordable price. If you're looking for absolute cheapest, uh, Beavercraft will be the lowest that I would recommend at all. Um, a lot of you are going to be looking for like a just good all around wood carving knife. The Mora knives are excellent knives. Uh, you can get the 120, which is what this one is right here. It's a very nice and easy to control length. If you want a longer one, they sell 106. It's about yay long. Um, I find it a little bit more wieldy for what I like to carve. Still a great option. Uh, going into pocket knives, these can be a little bit more dependent upon you and your own personality sometimes. Uh, the more expensive one I have on here is the Master Carver Pocket Wheeler 2. Outstanding little pocket knife. Uh, it's like I said, it's more on the expensive side. So this is uh, it's going to be between $45 and $55 depending on where you grab it. Um, but in, it's an excellent purpose made whittling knife. It has a very nice handle on it. It's got a locking blade, uh, purpose made uh, carving, uh, purpose made blade, uh, and it's made of high carbon steel. Great, great option. Uh, if you can afford it, and you want a nice slick looking pocket knife, this one will be the one you want to grab. Uh, also just any real, to be honest, any real uh, really decent uh, single bladed knife will do the job. This one is an old timer 3OT. Um, this one is actually back when it was still made in the US. This is an older version, but this will get the job done. And matter of fact, this was actually used by um, my dad's dad for whittling when, uh, way back when. Uh, so this, this will get the job done. It, and this one has actually served its, served its time doing whittling. Um, if you wanted some other ones, the Rough Rider Carbon Series knives are great. This one is actually, I think, a purpose-made whittling knife here. It comes with a couple different blades on it for, um, for whittling. Great option for, I don't know, maybe about 20 bucks. Uh, very, very affordable knife. And it has the, the carbon blades on it, which will hold that edge retention. You can't go wrong with a Swiss Army knife, let's be fair. Uh, Swiss Army knives are everywhere and they come with a multitude of configurations. So for this one, uh, if you're gonna be doing any sort of willing, I highly recommend you get the shorter blade on there. Um, it, it just makes it easier to control. Uh, it gets a long, make sure it has a longer blade, it's great for 
roughing stuff out, um, and then save the smaller blade for any sort of actually whittling. Um, and get the ones with the saws on them too if you're going to be cutting off branches. Another great affordable option is open L carbon steel blades. Um, I prefer them over their standard uh, uh, stainless steel versions because they have a better edge retention on them. Uh, this one I put my own edge on it so it, it's much sharper than what it was when it came stock from the manufacturer. Uh, this one's also the number seven and it, I personally found this one to be the smallest that I would go because it fits my hand just perfectly um, for the handle. Uh, any smaller, I worry about it not really fitting my hand and I might be like losing a finger for um, grabbing on the, the handle. Um, so it'd be a little bit less uh, controllable for me, even though it'd be a smaller blade. Um, plus the ones with the, uh, any smaller than number six, don't, don't come with the locking collar on it. Uh, you don't need it. This is actually a pretty stiff knife to open and close since it's a friction folder. Um, still great quality, very affordable knife. Uh, I do recommend putting your own edge on it if you're going to actually use that. But yeah, those are what I would recommend if you were on an actual budget and you just wanted to get one knife. All right, thanks for watching guys. Have yourself a good one.